Anyway, by Marley, and today we're going to show you how we took pallet wood and turned it into a beautiful grandfather uh, clock. I'm just going to step aside so you can have a quick sneak peek of how it looks. Um, so um, that's what we're going to be doing today. So follow us, and we'll um, show you all the steps of what we did to to make it. Okay, so we decided we roughly made, decided on the sort of size we think we're going to do. This is a bit of a fly by the side, side by the seat of our pants type project. Um, and what we've done here is I've picked 12 boards. They're all exactly the same width and length. Um, and what we're going to do now is we're going to make the main trunk of the clock. The centre box, if you want to call it, is going to be four boards wide by two boards deep. Um, and that's that's about as wide as it's going to be, you know, the depth of it. Um, and then this is going to be the clock face, and the clock face will sit at the top of there. So, I'm going to crack on with battening it, battening this out, um, and joining this together in a in a secure way, so that it's rigid. Uh, really important that it's rigid. Um, so. You'll see me doing that in a minute. And we sanded all the boards as well. Oh, sorry, yes. All the boards were sanded. They're lovely and clean. Not like this things my, I make. This is my trusty Makita sander. Um, I don't know what I would do without this. I use it for just about everything. I've got it upside down, bolted to the desk here. It's a 600 millimeter wide belt, which means that for boards like this, it just eats them. And, you know, like it's just wider than the board itself. So perfect for the job at hand. Um, and I've sanded all the boards, just roughly sanded them. But basically all I've done is taken the rough edges off of them so that I can handle them without getting splinters and things. And they'll, they'll stain much nicer because of that as well. So that's what we've done and that's what we're about to do next. So see you soon. Okay, so I'm just gonna start putting these battens on, this, on these boards. Uh, I've cut this to size. Um, so glue on the back and then I'm going to nail it on with some, they're, they're, uh, I don't know what the official title for them is, they're, they're kind of U-shaped staples so they'll hold this together really securely. Got enough glue in that son. Yep. Board down a fraction. Sorry. Okay, so what we've done is we've um, we've put together the, the four sides. So this is this is one side. This one that's on the table at the moment is the other side that matches that, and these are the side pieces. Um, so we've battened this out. We've strengthened the inside walls um, and we're going to attach the top piece on here now to make, you know, the main the box. Um, it's going to look something like that. And then this will stand upright and we'll worry about the rest of it in a minute. <laughs> okay, so we've secured this together now. Um, so this is the main trunk of the clock. So... This is going to be the main body. Difficult to get an idea of size at the moment, so I'll just pop it down the floor so you can see. At the moment, that's the main trunk. And what we're going to do is we're going to put a footing on it, which will raise this up to about this height. And then we'll cap it off. So it's going to be about five foot tall. And that's quite heavy. <laughs> <laughs> see you in a minute. So <clears throat> Lowe's decided the, at the top of the piece, 
there's going to be some handles that we've got lying around there and there. So it's going to look like that. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to fix all of those things onto this before I attach this top board to that. So that's what I'm just, that's what I'm just going to do. I'm just measuring out where these are going to be. Um, screw them all in and then once I've got these all fixed. It's all the bits I'm making them do. All the bits she's making me all do. The, all the fancy bits because it, can, it can't just be a box. It looks like a coffee. Yeah, and what, what I'm going to do with this, because I, I have to screw these handles in from underneath, and what I'm going to do with this block because this takes a screw in into it as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill through the back here with a large diameter drill to about, you know, 10 mil short of the top. And then I'll put a smaller drill through the center of that that matches the thread of this so that I can put a screwdriver in the back of there and screw this onto the top of there. And then once that's, once that's all together, I'll then fix that board to the top of there. This board's already fixed up. So, I'll crack on with this. Okay, so what, what we're doing now, following on from earlier, is, you know, we said before, we want this to be five foot tall. So, we're adding this section to the base, which is going to be a, like a foot that it sits on. Um, I'll flip it over so you can see it. So this is the front and this is what it's going to look like and that's going to be the clock's going to be here. And this is the back. So what I'm going to do now, because in theory this is going to go up against the wall, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fill in and just pull in all the corners and fill in this from the back so that this is flush with this so it can go up against the wall nice and flat. I'll carry on doing this and then we'll see you at the next stage. Okay, so I thought I'd just give a quick look. It's still a work in progress, but you know, that's I, I'm six foot tall, so this is. I'm a, Trust me on this, there's been a tape measure on this. Is, this is five foot tall to here. So it's got a base on it, like a foot. And on the back, it's nice and flat, as I was showing you just a minute ago. And what we're going to do next is you know, it's going to have a clock face on it. That's the next part of the project, basically, to drill out the center of this and put a clock in it. Um, so we can attach it to this. Um, anyway, I just thought I'd give you a work in progress. This is where we are at the moment. Okay, so we showed you this dish earlier on that we've had for many years. Um, what I've done is I've cut a circle out of the middle of it. So I just I drilled a hole in the center Drilled it a couple more times with bigger and bigger drills, enough big enough that I could get this blade into it. And then slowly, and it took some effort actually, because this is an incredibly hard wood, um, but cut out that circle. Now, what size was that circle? We actually looked quite hard for this. <laughs> we needed a clock mechanism that would fit into here. And we found this little beauty in a local store in, uh, in Gala Shields, where near where we live. Um, and it's a cheap clock mechanism, but the point is it came with this kit. So what we did was we measured that circle and cut that so that it fits precisely in there. And then this battery operated clock then just slots into that little groove and voila. A clock. The silver bit is going to be taken off. It's just nasty vinyl. Yeah, so this we'll, is nasty at the moment. We'll be changing all of this. <laughs> I'm going to paint the hands with black it's um, really metal just paint. Just the mechanism. That just the mechanism we wanted. <laughs> yeah. 
but it comes with a little thing. This little thing that enables you to you put that over the center and move that around the wheel. It tells you where the hours go. So we're gonna make up a, st a stencil. Yeah, that's the next job. For all the numbers to go around here. And then we'll use this little dandy little thing <laughs> to plot where they're gonna go. And then we'll put it all together, change all the change the colour. I'm gonna this, I'm, the I'm gonna paint the the wooden face with white chalk paint and then wet distress it back to give it that aged feel. We'll get the stencil going. I'm gonna stencil it with are kind of off black not quite black chalk paint here's the clock all done it's going to have its first stain tonight and then it's going to be shabby martin's going to try and work out a full sort of cupboard onto it and uh, then i'm going to stencil it uh i'm not quite sure how that's all going to work out but we'll formulate that as we go but i think the first thing to do is maybe get some color on it and that'll determine what happens next Martin, have you anything to add about anything? No, but I'm particularly pleased with this little clock mechanism. <laughs> okay, then. Awesome! <laughs> Okay, so Leslie wanted a fake door on the front of this. Um, so what I did was, sticking with the palette width theme, um, we positioned the clock and decided on what the me measurements of this box were gonna be. Um, so it's 40 by 30. Um, so I cut a piece of the palette wood to that size and then using my table saw, cut each of those pieces down to this width, whatever that is, it was by eye. Um, I rounded them off on the sander so that these edges are all rounded off nicely um, and I've just, you know, we stapled it all out, I made sure everything was square um, and we've fixed it into place. So now what we're going to do is we're going <laughs> to, I have a couple of boxes of <laughs> junk, for some people will call it, I would say things that I have found over the years or I've taken off of uh, projects that I thought, I thought mm, you never know, might have a use for that at some point. Um, so anyway, these little things were part of something else, but sprayed black, like a pair of door hinges. <laughs> so they're gonna go there. Got this old cup hook uh, door handle, that's gonna go there. Um, and when this is all the right color, and blend it in and stencils and things it'll all look the part um so now we are gonna do what darling fix the clock face to the i'm gonna not sure what we're gonna do next but gonna... you'll see in a minute <laughs> here's a quick close-up of the clock face which i painted with pva glue and then painted some cream paint over the top of it to give it that crackle appearance it just does it by itself so here's a view of that I've kind of shabbied it and aged it as well. Okay, so I showed you the crackle earlier. What I did with the wooden um, clock face, shall we say, the wooden platter, I covered it in PVA and then I put white, um, a mixed white emulsion and yellow chalk paint together to get this sort of creamy colour painted it over the top of it and when you paint paint over the top of PVA it starts to crackle and what I did was to help it along was I put uh, the heat gun on it just to kind of help it along so I've showed you the crackle already and what I've done since then is on the silhouette I just printed off my numbers and I put the numbers on the clock and I've done a little bit of a kind of flourish up there now this clock face is still to have um, dark wax applied to it to just give it that age feel. Now the actual clock itself has um, been done, it's been stained so I'm just about to show you so you're just going to have to bear with me while I stand up, it's not going to be glamorous. Um, so what we've done is we've stained it all with an exterior stain 
um, just because it works nice and what I've done is I've done stencils so Blacks of Edinburgh clock makers since 1902 that was one of the ones I've put in there on the bottom of the clock I've put the finest handmade clocks in Scotland because obviously we're Scottish and uh, what we've done on the side is we've put um, uh, orders taken by appointment so I had trouble reading that <laughs> Yeah, it's been a long day. Um, so this is how, the light isn't great here, so you just have to bear with me, it's looking kind of yellow and you can see it in my really messy other studio from there. And on this side, um, we put spe specialist work. But that set had its first coat of um, just initial sort of dark oak stain. Now, as you can see on the floor here, I'm just about to so I kind of started and realised I hadn't started filming it. If you can see this dark area here, I'm just starting to darken it all up because if I'm saying it's from 1902, although we know it's a palette clock, we want it to look sort of kind of authentic. I'm going to lightly sand some of these just to knock back the texture of the stenciling because that's another giveaway when you can feel a stencil is quite thick you don't want that either because if it had been around since 1902 that would have been knocked back i'll take some of it away but i'm saying to man i'm slightly nervous on this one it's a lovely thing and i don't want to do my normal just slap it around kind of thing no i'm going to kind of just gently kind of knock back some of those words and all of the stenciling and then the next thing we're going to do is uh martin why don't you tell them what we're going to how we're going to attach the clock face Sorry, the film, we're, we don't normally film here, so but... Normally, yeah, yeah, we, we don't, indoors in the warm, we don't basically. Know, it was cold in the workshop, we don't normally film here. So this is, I don't know what type of wood this is, but it's a really hard wood. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to drill a couple of pilot holes in here, but I'm going to, I, I will screw this onto here. So this is going to get mounted onto here. And the clock that we've got for it will slot into that space there. So it can be, it can be removed it's an electric clock with a battery in it so you can pull it out change the battery pop it back in again and, uh, it was um unfortunately a really nasty sort of silver vinyl which we peeled off the back bit and i'm going to give it a rusty full finish and i'm going to black um metal work the hands yeah. and martin's going to make this bit here which is supposed to be the kind of full cupboard this bit here has got a handle and those how um those uh, hinges that he kind of made work yesterday, he cut bits off of them just to make them a bit more authentic. And I painted those black today as well. And they'll also get a little touch of possibly cinnamon just to kind of age them. Um, so, Martin, have you got anything else to add? Will we see them again in the no, next one? We just wanted to do a little, you know, if, before we finished it, we just wanted to give you a final kind of look see as to the, to the finishing stages of the project. And once we've got it all together, uh, and we've finished, you know, we've mounted the clock and we've painted the hands and all the other bits that Leslie's talking about. And she's finished doing all the highlights and the low lights that she talked about. We'll, we'll stage it and uh, we'll give you the final look-see. And I'd just like to apologise at this stage because we don't normally fill out here. So I'm sorry if the light's not great for filming. But really it was just to give you an idea of where we're at and what we've yeah. done so far. It's freezing outside. It is really cold. <laughs> it was roasting last week and this week it's freezing. Um, that's April for you in Scotland. So there's a lot of work and everything hanging about on the floor down there that needs to go on the website. It's a bit, bit iffy out here, but... Um, you just need to bear with us, but we're, I think we're really both pleased with it so far. Yeah, it's looking great so far. And, it. and it's been free, which more yeah, the point is. <laughs> oh, the the hand the set the hand clock mechanism I think was three pounds, but everything else has been free. So I'm going to get on and shabby this up a bit and stain it out, and uh, then we'll we'll see where we go then. So here's some close ups of the clock now that it's finished um we've set it out for staging for photographs so um this is how it looks and as a build there's an awful lot of steps it's not 
hugely complicated, but it is complicated, if you know what I mean. You have to find the right things. But as I said, all we said all the way through this, the whole thing, clock is made out of pallets, um, apart from the face. It's obviously been stenciled, it's been aged, it's got some metal work on it, but this is the clock. Um, so if you've liked this video today and you want to see more of Made by Marley Fundy Sunday videos, um, then think about subscribing if you think that you want to share this video with somebody else who might like it feel free to share it and if you push your bell um you'll get notified whenever we upload another video so thanks for watching this and we'll see you again next sunday